Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. And after the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow, reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of, and life is sweet. Of course, our residents will want to venture forth into the fresh air occasionally. And train works on our expansion for their pleasure ride in this elevated gym training on 50 years into the future. So all of you can get a little breeze to feed our burgeoning population courtesy of our hardware and collective education over time. Just press a button. Press it will be on the button to experience pleasure. Yes, indeed. Though the form looks strange and new, the function remains the same as ever. But where are all the people? Why, they're underground. A network of burrows extends a mile into the earth, giving future Hill Valley's 10 million citizens plenty of space to work, play, and raise their families. To all who approach what ideas. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. See you, Trixie. Don't be a stranger. Hey, Artie. Officer. Officer? Right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Corleone? What can I help you with? I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still. I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd!
What's cooking? See you, Trixie. Don't be a stranger. I don't have any reason. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of kids, gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Because little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know? So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Last year, I drove a train off a cliff. Why'd you do that? You know, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. It's a <laughs> long story. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. What kind of stuff have they got you all in here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other, it's all Greek to me. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing. I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's knees. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. I was, I don't know, they turned my teeth green. Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir, Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... 
the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Artie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Here, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows oh, up... I gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Parlor Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme, keep that up and I may take a real shine to you. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. How about the furs in the photo album? I'll get them to you. Hi, Trix. Oh, hi, it's Mac and the Puss. Well, it would be fun to watch, but it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? How about the furs in the photo album? I'll get them to you. I'm having trouble finding another set of wheels. You sure I can't... Not until I finish running these tests. Perhaps an electric commuter train. This is 1931, remember? Oh, right. Well, I'm sure you'll find something. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. You still cheesed off at Trixie? Yeah, but I'm more cheesed off at whoever got her fired. Oh. You still cheesed off? Yeah, but I... Oh. Stay out of trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying... Yeah? When does the expo Not open? tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Corleone? What can I help you with? I was thinking. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. Huh, I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Corleone. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. 
and I sub still look in. It's a good thing these things never caught, huh? Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn, she's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need any help? So, what do we do about Edna? Only one thing we can do. Why? Make me out to be a less desirable catch than I really am. Why would she believe me? She said she knows you inside and out. Then you'll have to resort to skullduggery. You've done it before. You ought to be getting good at it by now. Yeah, I guess I am. So, what do we do about Edna? Only one thing we can do. Lie. Make me out to be a less desirable catch than I really am. Then you'll have... Any idea what your teenage self is doing right now? Unless I miss my guess, he's in the garage frantically working on his latest invention and cursing because he can't quite get it to work. Damn! I think I'm starting to get a plan. Good. Tell me. No! No! After all, it's my history we're talking about. If I learn how you're planning on altering it, my resolve may weaken. Good news. I think Trixie's going to go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please don't tell me the details. Dad never told me about a Hill Valley Expo. It was Mayor Thomas's idea. He had visions of Hill Valley becoming a magnet for big investors in the technology sector. But the adventure folded after the third year when the influenza exhibit leaked into the concession stand. Oh. I'm having trouble finding another set of wheels. You sure I can't... Not until I finish running these tests. Perhaps an electric commuter train. This is 1931, remember? Oh, right. Well, I'm sure you'll find something. Come see the cars of the future. Brought to you by Statler DeSoto. If I'm gonna get to Emmett's, I need to find some wheels. Hi, Trix. about an algae cake? No thanks. I'm trying to cut down. Seriously, I am not stealing this truck. How about an algae cake? Guess I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> Where the hell did you get that crap? The Expo. How about an algae cake? Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Algae, you say? I'm going to suggest that they add that to the menu at the orphanage. How about an algae cake? Much obliged. Mm. Mm. 
that was different. How about an algae cake? One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but, uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very, um, unique flavor. Hi, Trix. Right. 